Monster mustaches do not curl at the ends, sir. <laughs> Only if you're Spanish. <laughs> or a hipster. Or a snooty molester. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, your child's not good enough for me. <laughs> So I was thinking about doing a song where I, where I would actually be singing while I was upside down. Um, but I'm not entirely I convinced I remember all the lyrics because uh, it's really hard to remember the lyrics while somebody else is singing. <sighs> Especially if it's good and you're like, ah, that's good. So I'm going to bring some chairs up here and I'm going to try to sing upside down and we'll see if it works or not. chance I could pass out while singing this. <laughs> and if I do, just clap anyways for me off stage, okay? All right. Yeah, I'm not sure this is gonna work, but uh, what the hell? <laughs> you know, there's a first rule of performing, and that is maintain eye contacts. Pretend my knees are eyes. I'm looking at you all. <laughs> there's worse things I could say. Um, so the song is called The Sloth. Woo! <laughs> Thank you for the one person that supported me. Oh, yeah. Um. Oh, nice. Uh, bra. No, fuck this. <laughs> oh, We gonna get you an E for effort. Ooh. <laughs> that was fun. I'm still gonna try to sing the song, but there's no way I couldn't breathe like that. The song. <laughs> I know disappointment. The song is called The Sloth, and it's by a group called Flanders and Swan. A brand impus or sloth. Am I? I live a life of ease, contented not to do or die, but idle as I please. I have three toes on either foot, or half a does on both. With fruits and leaves and shoots to eat, how sweet to be a sloth. The world is such a cheerful place when viewed from upside down. It makes a rise of every fall. A smile of every frown I watched the fleeting flutter by A butterfly and moles And think of all the things I'd try If I were not a sloth I could climb the very highest Himalayas, be among the greatest ever tennis players, win a chess or marry a princess or study hard and be an eminent professor. I could be a millionaire, play the clarinet, travel everywhere, learn to cook, catch a crook, win a war, then write a book about it. I could paint the Mona Lisa, I could be another Caesar, compose an oratorio that was sublime. Not doors, not shut on my genius, but I just don't have the time For days and days among the trees I dream and sleep and doze Content in swaying in the breeze Suspended by my tone 
While eager beavers overhead rush through the undergrowth, I watch the clouds beneath my feet. How sweet to be a sloth. You can see why that one might have been a bit difficult uh, upside down. I'm going to do one more song. It's very amusing. Johnny, you still here someplace? No, he left. No, he left. That's too bad. That's really funny. The, uh, the uh, old McDonald's demented farm. I've heard that before. It's quite amusing. There's a fellow that does that is uh, Seamus Kennedy, who is a wonderful, wonderful Irish singer. Uh, the one that I know. I mean, he might have heard it from someplace else, but uh, that's the one I know. And he has a, a great many amusing songs, for those of you who have heard, uh, Seven Drunken Nights, and This Scotsman, and I'm My Own Grandpa. Um, he also does those ones. Uh, I'm going to sing another one of his songs. Uh, it's called I'm My Own Grandpa. If you've never heard it before, it's a fun little one. Many, many years ago, when I was 23, I was married to a widow who was pretty as could be. This widow had a grown-up daughter who had hair of red. My father fell in love with her, and soon the two were wed. This made my dad my son-in-law, and changed my very life. My daughter was my mother, for she was my father's wife. To complicate the matter, even though it brought me joy, I soon became the father of a bouncing baby boy. This little baby then became a brother-in-law to dad, and so became my uncle, though it made me very sad. For if he was my brother, then he also was the brother of the widow's grown-up daughter, who of course was my stepmother. And I'm my own grandpa. I'm my own grandpa. It sounds funny, I know, but really it's so. I'm my own grandpa. My father's wife then had a son, which kept them on the run, and so became my grandchild, for he was my daughter's son. My wife is now my father's mother, and it makes me blue. Although she is my wife, she is my grandmother too. Now if my wife is my grandmother, I am her grandchild. And every time I think of it, it nearly drives me wild. Now I have become the strangest case you ever saw. As husband of my grandmother, I am my own grandpa. And I'm my own grandpa. I'm my own grandpa. It sounds funny, I know, but really it's so. I'm my own grandpa. Thank you.